The drugs have been chosen, uh -huh. uh, but there's no way we're going to reveal what they are because we do not want a response uh, that's, uh, that's premature. I see. Okay, so um, would only the hospitals that, are, that have signed up to be part of this have access to those drugs, or do you foresee that overall pricing will become lower for all of the drugs, whether they're manufactured by Civica RX or not, simply because there's more supply in the market? So uh, more than 120 healthcare systems representing more than a third of U.S. hospitals have already been in contact with us. So we think we're going to have really great scale. Uh, all of those hospitals will have access to, uh, to drug at the same price, and we welcome all hospitals, for-profit, not-for-profit, small, large, rural, urban, to be part of this uh, process. And we hope that uh, by starting this project, we'll start to get some rationality back in the market. And some of the players who are bad players are going to modify their behavior, get rid of the shortages they're creating, and get the prices back in line with uh, what the market really should bear. Now, Dr. Harrison, when you say you don't want a premature response if you name those 14 drugs you're focusing on, what are you afraid might happen? That companies might then just react on those specific drugs? What kind of reaction do you expect when you do announce which drugs you're focused on? I understand you expect to get products on the, year as soon as, uh, on the market as soon as potentially next year. Yeah, we, we just need to get the contracting in place with the, com with the, with the systems that are going to be um, our customers so that we have assured pricing in place before we get what I think is going to be a panicked response from some of these bad actors. Look, you know, most of the generic drug world is, uh, are good companies doing the right thing for patients, not creating shortages, not driving up prices. They all know who they are. They've got nothing to worry about. It's the other folks, the people who are creating shortages and then having crazy increases in prices. They've got a lot to worry about, and I think they're the ones who are going to react. But this is, and I would imagine, Dr. Harrison, maybe one of your hopes is that you, you put pressure on overall drug pricing when it comes to these specific drugs that Civica RX will actually manufacture, that who, whatever generic drug maker makes that same version of that drug, they will also feel the pressure to bring prices down. That's exactly right. But, you know, we've chosen these 14 drugs uh, based on where are their shortages, where have there been really inappropriate increases in price, et cetera. Uh, we have no problem with people making a fair margin on the product that they create. That's, that's what the economy is all about. What we don't like is monopolistic behavior that penalizes patients. That's not okay, and that's what we're going after.